Natural fertility. So many people these days seem to struggle with fertility. Many of them resort to IVF or insemination treatments. However, there are many holistic things you can do on your own to boost your fertility. First off, trust in the wisdom of your body. A toxic body will not reproduce. And would you really want it to? Is there any wisdom in forcing it? Instead, it's better to look at all the ways you can create the most fertile, growth-encouraging conditions in your system, and then the fertility happens naturally. Here are five areas to look at to become a baby-making machine. Xenoestrogens. The high amount of estrogen mimicking compounds in our foods, body products, and medications like hormonal birth control mess with our reproductive rhythms. Minimize your contact with household chemicals, plastic water bottles, food containers, and conventional body and makeup products. Use glass bottles and non-chemical household cleaners and beauty brands. There are so many choices these days that you can gradually replace the products you have with cleaner and greener ones. How fertile a vessel are you? How much space and openness have you left in your life? The energy of opening, receiving, and connecting to the flow is the energy of fertility. How well do new ideas take hold in you? The answers to these questions and any adjustments you make in your lifestyle to become more receptive and learn how to surrender more in your life instead of trying to control everything or force things to happen will help you to embody the energy of abundance and fertility. What is the state of your intimate relationship? I have seen people try to have children as a replacement for their own intimate connection. In fact, I've seen people try to make babies and then the baby making was actually the first sex they'd had in months and sometimes even years. The more truly connected and open you are to each other, the easier it is to bring in a new life. When you have barriers between you and you're defensive and you're guarded, even on subtle levels, that's also a barrier to creating a baby. Clear space, focus on rebuilding trust, and work through issues that keep you at a distance. Diet, clean it up. Healthy body equals healthy eggs and sperm. High quality proteins and fats are necessary for optimal hormonal production. A clean, organically grown whole foods diet is the key to create the most optimal environment to growing new life. Consume nuts, seeds, organic grass-fed meat and eggs, avocados, coconut oil, flax oil, olive oil, and the more fresh, alive things you can eat, the more life you will sustain. And remove all processed food, sugar, white flour, and ideally gluten, soy, and corn. Herbs. Before there were pharmaceuticals, there were herbs. In fact, many pharmaceutical formulations are based off the molecular structure of herbs and plants. The only issue with herbs isn't that they don't work, it's that they can't be patented, and hence <laughs> Big Pharma was born. Herbs are safe, effective, and without side effects. Two great fertility herbs for women are Shadavari and Dong Khoai. Shadavari has been used as a herbal treatment for infertility in India for centuries. Dong Khoai strengthens the uterus and balances your hormones and your menstrual cycle. For men, I suggest using American ginseng and ashwagandha. In addition to increasing sex drive and helping with erectile dysfunction, ginseng increases sperm count and quality. Ashwagandha balances hormones, boosts libido and stamina, and improves sperm count. There you go. Clean up all parts of your life to create the ideal environment for your baby. For more fertility, pregnancy, and blissful birth tips, check out my Sexy Mama online course and free video series. You can find the link for those below this video. And subscribe to my channel.